All right, today I have an Olympia. I love Olympias. They're really nice typewriters. And this one is the smallest one we've ever had. This is an Olympia SF Deluxe, but it's also called the Traveler. Um, it's very portable, comes in a zipper case, and um, it works really well. So if you are somebody who's looking for a quality typewriter that is portable, the Olympia Traveler uh, is an excellent choice. This one happens to be a 1962. So let me show you how to use an Olympia SF Deluxe or Olympia Traveler. Okay, here's the carriage right here. This is a manual, which makes it very portable. You don't need to plug it in or anything like that. Um, your paper is gonna go right back in here. Before you put your paper in, uh, just so you know, there's a teeny tiny lever on the right. If you flip flip that, then that's going to be your paper holder. I'll go ahead and leave that up. This right here is a carriage lock, and I don't know if I have it locked. Let me see. Nope. So let me lock it. This is good for when you're transporting it. Hold on. Kind of has to. It has to get into. There's a little notch. Oh, I think there it went. And you'll feel it as soon as it hits in there and the carriage should lock. Yep. That way, so when you're transporting it, the carriage doesn't happen to swing back and forth, which could damage the draw band. So if you get an Olympia or any other typewriter and the carriage won't work, look for a carriage lock. This one is right here. You just flip it back. It's now released. Okay. Uh, this and this is a little bit different than Smith Corona. Smith Corona is the very back lever is the carriage release and the front leather um, lever is the paper release and it's reversed on the Olympia, this Olympia Traveler. So this is the um, lever that's going to release the tension on the paper in case you need to adjust it. And the front one releases the carriage. Let's go ahead and roll that in. Also, if the roller doesn't catch the paper, check to make sure that your paper release hasn't been um, flipped up because if it has, then the paper's not gonna roll through. Okay, so we're gonna roll that through and it's came through pretty even. I don't think I need to adjust that. Right here, the small lever is gonna determine um, how many lines your return handle will advance. So here's your return handle when you get to the end of the line. You just pull that back to the beginning of the line, plus it advances. So depending on where you have it set, it's going to advance either one, two, or three lines. I'm going to put it back on one. Um, I'm going to reverse the carriage all the way to the left, and we're going to open up the top and take a look underneath. Um, so on the Olympia, you just pop it up, and you can see... It's got these two points and they just go in these holes down here when you put it back on. This takes a universal ribbon. There's a new one in this one already. And they just easily pop in and out, except for the Olympia it does have a spring loaded, um, I don't know what you want to call it, arm that kind of holds it in and it's right here. So there you go. And here's the other one. All right, and then you just pop them in and out. Make sure you pay attention to how they are threaded through the guide wires so that when you replace it, you can replace it properly. Pay special attention to this one because there's several little um, arms that come down that you need to get it in. When you, um, I am looking, and oh, I forgot to check before I did this, the um, ribbon reversal. Sometimes they're just, oh, they're manual, it looks like. Yeah. Okay, so um, when you get to the end of the spool, you're going to want to reverse the direction. And you just do that by um, adjusting that there and here, okay? So um, here, let me put this back. We'll take a look. So right now it's going this way. Let's adjust that again. And try that again. And now it's going this way. So you just click that button and it's going to reverse the direction. 
Um, you should be able to use your ribbon back and forth multiple times before you need to replace it. Keep in mind that sometimes when you get to the end of the ribbon, the um, carriage may just lock up on you. Um, and if that's the case, just double check and make sure you don't need to reverse the direction of the ribbon. Um, or the type is going to get real faint. And if as soon as it starts to get faint, reverse the direction of your ribbon or replace it. Okay, let's go ahead and put the cover back on. Again, I'm going to move it all the way to the left so it doesn't scratch the top. And we're going to pop that back in there. And let's go ahead and type on this little guy. So on this one, the Olympia, please keep in mind that some of the characters you are used to are not in the same place. This one no longer does not have a number one as well, so you use the lowercase L. So this is a 1962 Olympia SF Deluxe. And the font is really big on this one. I'm wondering if it's a 10 CPI, maybe even bigger, like an 8. Um, and I will measure that and put that on the listing on our Etsy shop and even if it's sold you can look at that and uh, see what the CPI is on that. Alright let's go ahead and do this again all the way across. One thing I like about Olympia's is they just have you can tell they are a better quality machine than the Smith Corona. We love Smith Coronas that is the vast majority of the machines that we use that we sell. So we love them. We're not saying anything bad about Smith Coronas. They're just a different level of um, quality. These Olympias, fantastic, fantastic machines. And you can feel it as soon as you, even when you're loading the paper, you can just feel that it's a much better quality machine. This is your backspace, your margin release, and your margins. Um, I'll, I'll take a picture and put it on the Etsy shop, but you just press in. You can see where the margins are set in the back. You just press in and then move where you want them to go. Let's try the red again. Okay, you are gonna love this. This is one that um, it's gonna be a little bit pricier, but this is gonna be an excellent typewriter for serious writers, especially those of you who wanna be portable. You know, Traveler is the perfect name for it because this really was designed to be portable. The case, like I said, it's a lightweight zipper case, nice handle, it's still in really good condition easy to take with you to a coffee shop or to a writing group or your just your favorite writing nook. So I hope you love this. If you're looking for something um, to get away in a little secret spot to um, get creative, then the Olympia SF is a really good choice for you. To view more about this particular typewriter, please click on the link in the comments and go to our Etsy shop. Um, even if it's sold, please check out what typewriters we have available currently on our Etsy shop using links below. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.